Okay. I've heard many people say this, and it's usually women. You know, I ask them, what are you going to do at 4 a.m. if someone's kicking in your door? Some people will say, call 911, of course. It's going to take them a while to get there, the police. They're not going to show up before the guy is in your house. They're going to show up afterwards. That's why they bring the police tape and chalk. Not to stop the crime, but to investigate the crime. And then I hear people say things like, well, I keep a ball bat beside my bed. Or I've even heard one lady tell me one time she would use bug spray. And even if you have a taser, we see all the time where the cops use tasers on somebody and it doesn't stop them whatsoever. Pepper spray, same thing. But here's the bottom line. Those things are not the best tool possible. Why would you build a house with a mallet? You would use a carpenter's hammer. And using a ball bat in your house, have you ever practiced with like a wiffle ball bat or maybe one of those pool noodles? Pretend like some, you know, start swinging that around in the hallway. See how that goes for you. Not to mention, you have to get really close to the, the attacker. I don't want to get that close. And what if he takes that ball bat away from you? What do you think he's going to do with that ball bat now? I would much rather be, say for example, a single woman. I would much rather be in my bedroom calling 911, putting it on speaker with my firearm in my hand. And having some distance when that dude busts in the bedroom door or whatever. It's the best tool for the occasion. A ball bat is the one I hear the most. That's insane. Get your wiffle ball bat and get your boyfriend or girlfriend or, or whatever, a friend, to pretend like they're attacking you. And you have to go at them with a with a ball bat in the hallway of your house or being up close to someone who might be big and athletic. What if you hit him with it? But you didn't hit him hard enough. But you hit him hard enough to really piss him off. A firearm is the best tool possible at this day and age. Use some common sense. Get a gun. Learn how to use it. Be safe with it. Learn the four basic safety rules. Get some training. At least a little bit of competence. Go to the range a little bit. There's range people there that can show you the basics. I'd almost rather not use a ball bat in the hallway of my house than have to resort to that. And if you can run, run. But, you know, I don't want to be shot in the back or chased down by some dude that can outrun me. Get a gun. Learn how to use it. Leave the ball bat for baseball. <laughs>